The Ministry of Health and Welfare on Friday launched an initiative to protect victims whose intimate images have been distributed without their consent. It will work with a network of ministry officials, NGOs, as well as online platforms where images can be shared. Intimate images typically include photographs and videos in which people are nude, partially nude, or engaging in sexual activities. Though sometimes the image were taken consensually, their distribution may not necessarily be consensual. A lawmaker at the launch event said she hoped the legislation can be passed as soon as possible to protect victims. <laughs> Together, they announced the launch of a network to help victims whose intimate images have been distributed without their consent. The Ministry of Health and Welfare has brought together non-governmental organizations and operators of online image-sharing platforms to put an end to this abuse so that victims can be protected. Although I am a public figure and a lawmaker, when I was mistreated and hurt in that way, I was full of doubts on what to do. When I decided to speak up, I realized there were many people who were on my side. DPP lawmaker Gao Jiayu previously opened up about the physical abuse she suffered at the hands of her ex-boyfriend, who also shared intimate pictures of her without her consent. Gao says victims of such treatment should not be afraid to seek help. She voiced hope that the government would pass legislation on the matter soon to provide a legal system to protect victims. Many sexual images are filmed or shot voluntarily and consensually. I hope that in the future laws can be amended to make up for the lack of coverage over crimes involving these kinds of images. In 2011, the Department of Protective Services launched a plan with the Taipei Computer Association. It helps victims take down images from the internet as fast as possible. Whenever we receive intimate images from someone, we should know not to disseminate them. Distributing the images is a crime and, of course, harms the victims. According to the Ministry of Health and Welfare, this year until July, 150 people sought government assistance in cases involving intimate images. More than 70 percent of the victims were women, and the cases involved more than 800 websites. The ministry reports that contacting the website host to remove the images was successful in about 70 percent of cases.